What is up guys? Welcome back. Today we're just going to be doing some lip swatches. One of the perks of gaining any kind of notoriety on the internet is that people start to send you entire collections of things and I feel like it is my duty when I get PR versions of new releases that, you know, people are going to be searching the internet for swatches of them. So here I am, neutral skinned white girl. I figure this might be helpful for some people. So I have all four of them here, one of them being clear. I don't know, I guess we'll finish with that one. So I have here Pulse, Rush, and Flow. Flow is supposed to be the new one. I'm gonna start with the swatches and then I will talk about the formula and my opinion of it and things like that, uh, the price, etc. But let's just go ahead and get into the swatches because that's what you're here for. I don't really think that any of these is necessarily darker than another, so there's not really a super intuitive order here. I have here Pulse. Pulse is described as a warm, toasty spice that boosts natural lip color and gets the blood flowing, like cardio for your lips. This is what the component looks like when it is open. Flat lip balm roll up kind of thing. I have always really enjoyed this component. I've owned this in the past. I'll talk about that, but I like the component because it's flat. Beware though, <laughs> you'll forget it's in your pocket and you will put it in the wash. Always check your pockets. So that is Pulse on me. I also appreciate that the new component has color to it because they put the name of the shade on the cap. And so in the old one, they were all white and you would pull two caps off and not know which color was which. <sighs> in my line of work, that became a little bit of a hazard. But yes, it is a spicy color, quite a bit of pigment, but I feel like, I don't know, in this re-release, I'm not sure because I decluttered the old ones, but I feel like there's less pigment in these than the last ones. The last ones felt more almost like lipsticks. These definitely have color to them, but they don't feel as like everywhere and almost dry as the last ones. But you guys let me know. I could be totally just remembering wrong. Kick makeup wipes to the curb, fam. This is the Glossier Milky Oil. And I'm just putting it on my little typology swab here. All right, next let's go with the new one, Flow. Flow is described as a rejuvenating warm beige made to gently calm and comfort lips. Breathe in, swipe on, breathe out. Get it? Like a yoga flow. It's not too warm, it's not too orange. You know, a lot of times, I don't know if you're new here to my channel, but things can go pretty warm on me pretty fast. Things love to turn a little too yellow or a little too pink on my lips. And that's incredibly natural looking on me for being what they're claiming is a warm beige. I still feel like it has enough balance to it. Super pretty, super pretty. And I think all of these could work as blushes too. You could really get like a one and done tonal look with these because they do have enough pigment for that. And they're just a nice, they're just a nice texture. And I think that like, I don't know, that one specifically, I could get away with someone thinking that that's my lips with a clear lip balm on. Like the longer I look at it, the more I'm like, is that just my lip color, you know? But it's, it's not, it's a, it's a color. Half and half. Is that helpful? See? None on. And finally we have Rush. Rush is described as a cool pink that glides on easy, a fun swipe of color that's ready to play outside and break a sweat.
music over the application because then you can't hear the majority of my mouth noises, which are pretty unavoidable. But I have, uh, what's it called, misophonia? So I totally get it. Like, I feel like I can hear my dog licking his paws halfway across the house. I'm like, hi! <laughs> okay, so that is Rush. Again, like a cool pink. I dig that one a lot. I put it on without any makeup on earlier and I was like, that is a home run. I mean, yes, I have bronzer and blush and stuff on right now and so it would probably benefit from a little bit more blush, maybe to balance it out or something, but like, it's a really good focal point lip color on me without really overwhelming and stealing the show, which is a thing that colored lip products do for me a lot. <laughs> I cannot wear a lot of really, really bold lip colors um, depending on the opacity of the formula <laughs> because it doesn't matter then what's happening on the rest of my face. It is, my mother calls it, here comes Khaki's lips. So that is that. Let's take this off and we will just go with the clear and I will go through all of the claims and everything on this. Okie dokie. So these are $18. And then there are little sets. So they have a $28 set that is the Kosa's Chemistry Deodorant and a Lip Fuel Lip Balm. If you have not heard me go on and on about this in the past, I will go on and on about it again. That deodorant is so excellent. It was the end, which is a good thing, of my like just insatiable for the longest time journey for a an actually effective deodorant and for me it's because the active ingredient in it is mandelic acid which i'm not a scientist but it basically kills like bacteria in a natural way over the day on the surface of your skin i don't know but it is completely non-irritating. I have used the clear, the clear, the unscented. They're both clear on, uh, on my armpits where deodorant typically goes for a very long time. And I really, I mentioned that it's clear because there are other deodorants that I have tried that have also worked because the active ingredient is also mandelic acid. So Lumi, which makes a big deal about being a deodorant that you can put anywhere. So, I mean, you could arguably put this anywhere as well. It doesn't have any alcohol in it that I can detect that makes anything sting, like after I've shaved my underarms or something. And also the Drunk Elephant deodorant, which is a like a cream, you know, it's a white cream. And so this is the only one that I have found that is like this really, really thin and clear liquid. So it's very, very easy, uncomplaining, unstaining on your clothes, which is wonderful. So with this PR package, they sent me the one that's actually scented and I I was shocked because I'm usually like, nope, I'm not here for the lies. I'm not here for the smoke and the mirrors. I don't want my deodorant to smell like anything because then I have like, I, you know, just bad memories of growing up using like secret and then just all day long smelling like a scented skunk, you know, it's like BO plus fragrance instead of anything actually canceling anything else out. And this, the scent doesn't linger. It's just kind of nice. And it's super gender neutral, which I really like. It's just clean. It's like a hard thing to describe because it's just like a clean smell. And uh, I really like that about it. So anyway, that is a, a way to get, you know, save you five bucks, basically, if you do the combo. It's not particularly expensive to begin with. And uh, the formula claim says, powerful hydration, comfy as feel, energizing color. An ultra hydrating hyaluronic lip balm loaded with active skincare ingredients feels amazing and visibly improves the condition of the lips the more you wear it. Hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. No one should ever claim vitamin E. No offense guys, but vitamin E isn't everything. Uh, wild mint and konjac root. Clinically proven results, increased lip plumpness, improves hydration, improves smoothness and firmness. I mean, how many things can you really say about a lip balm, right? Except if those of you who have been with me for a while might recall, when I counted down my best lip balms, my favorite, favorite, favorite lip balms that actually work, it was like in the dead of winter, this was either second place or sharing the top spot with the GlossierBalm.com. It's just one of my favorite lip balm formulas because it's so gosh darn effective. So when you look at the ingredients, you know, one thing that they don't call out is that it's vegan because it's not. All right, Capricorn, Canalila, Pushes of Makeup, da -da -da -da. Lanolin oil is number like, I don't know, nine or something. 
And then we have beeswax, which is, you know, another nine after that or something. A lot of my experience when it comes to lip balms and their efficacy really comes back to those two ingredients. And they are a thing that a lot of brands try to synthesize, simulate in their formulas so that their formulas can be vegan, but it's also the reason that a lot of people were really, really angry when Bite Beauty reformulated and made everything vegan because they took the lanolin out of their lip balm and most of the diehard fans think it's crap now, you know? They're like, like it's not worth anything because it just doesn't have the staying power that you get from beeswax and lanolin. That doesn't necessarily mean that everybody's lips benefit from the same things, but those two ingredients tend to make things both nourishing and long wearing, which is what you really need for a lip balm to be effective, is for it to stay on your lips and not just coat your lips in something that is going to be super occlusive. It has to actually nourish them. And I find lanolin is super nourishing, beeswax. I'm not sure if it's necessarily really nourishing, but it makes it really, really long wearing. The word that uh, Hannah Louise Poston uses is tenacity. You know, they endure. And um, again, I'm not any kind of formulation expert. I'm not a scientist. I'm not even good at science, but those are the things that I find like to be lacking when a lip balm doesn't really work and the main components in lip balms that do work. So final thoughts. This is one of my favorite lip balms of all time. I've told you guys that before and I'm not sure but I think that they took a little bit of the pigmentation out of the colored versions of these, and I'm glad that they did because that was my chief complaint. I was like, they call this Kosa's Sport, and yet I can't apply this without a mirror. And I still really tried to give you guys very precise swatches, and so it helped to use a mirror. <sighs> you could use your phone, whatever, you know, turn it around to look at it or whatever, but I don't find that they're as difficult to put on as they were before. Again, could totally be me remembering wrong, but they feel easier as a sport weight lip balm because they feel like they are a little bit less pigmented, but that doesn't mean that they are by any means unpigmented. So I'm just going to swatch them all next to each other for one final shake. And if you're wondering how these kind of compare to something like the Glossier Ultra Lip, that's what they're called, they are less dewy shiny they're less cosmetics-ish. They are more nourishing and lip balm feeling. They are more effective feeling. They're not just like sit on top of the lips. They are very like sink into the lips and make everything feel really nice and supple. I like them very, very much. So this is the new one, Flow. Then this is Rush. And this is Pulse, correct? Correct, I believe so. I like all of them. I think that Flow, the new one, is actually my favorite just because it looks so native to my skin tone, but I can wear all of them. And there is no white opacity to these. So you can see the swatches online of all of the colors on multiple, multiple skin tones very, very close up, which I appreciate. And I do believe that these are going to, they'll show up on any skin tone and they won't do anything milky. And if you are a fan of this formula, nothing has changed <laughs> in the updated release other than the packaging, just so that you can be a little bit more clear as to which one you're pulling out of your bag. So um, they all get an absolutely, you know, enthusiastic two thumbs up from me. I'm so grateful to Kosas for sending them to me. Thank you so much. They also sent me Good Body Skin, which is their new body wash. I'm trying that out. And I'm also now onto their scented, lightly, very, very lightly scented version of their deodorant. Can't say enough about it. So let me know what you guys experience have been with these, with these products, because that always helps me to improve reviews going forward. I'm only one person, but if you did find this valuable, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you guys did. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.